Worship is a powerful witness to unbelievers if God's presence is felt and the message is comprehensible. It's understandable. <clears throat> Worship is powerful. It's a powerful witness if God's presence is felt and the message is comprehensible. It's understandable. What do I mean by that? If the beauty of God's presence, the, the holiness, the joy, the comfort, you know, the, the liberty, people can feel, even unbelievers can know that they have entered into the presence of, of God and others around them. And the second thing is in the preaching, it makes sense. It makes sense. They can't disagree with you. They may not agree with you. They may not agree with you, but they can't say, I didn't understand what he was saying. It's not that you can make sense in English. So simple, simple, make it, simplify it to the point and be normal in your language instead of, you know, hi-fi, theological and, and biblical language and all that. Just simplify it so that anyone who comes can understand what you're saying. And he has a shot at agreeing or disagreeing with you. You know, then you say, oh, no, no, you don't understand. You have to read the Bible. You have to study it. Then you will understand it. Then you can be. No, if he didn't understand the first time, he's not coming back. But if he walks in, he meets friendly people. He listens to beautiful worship that lifts him up, makes him feel the presence of God. And then he listens to a message that makes sense to his heart and is helpful for his week ahead. He's coming back. He's coming back. I'm telling you from experience, he's coming back. I'm telling you from faith he's coming back. They need it. They want it. More people are hungry for God than you and I believe. My believers in our, my church are not, they don't believe that there are hungry people out there. They are the ones who are the unbelievers. They are the ones who are like, they're not, they, they don't, oh, don't want to, you know, don't want, we don't want to push the limits. We don't want to feel like we're proselytizing or whatever the, the problem is. But there are hungry hurting people. We've been saying this over and over again. Felt needs, meeting needs. Felt needs, meeting needs. Now this is another thing that has been debated in the gospel circles. It's been debated in the scholarly circles that is it right or wrong to meet needs? And the point is Jesus went about meeting needs. If you look at the fivefold ministry of Christ, if you look at the love and compassion of Jesus, he met needs and many of them didn't believe in him. Many of them didn't come back to thank him. In fact, 9 out of 10 didn't come back to thank him. But Jesus met their needs anywhere. Why? Because he's a need meeting God. He's a need meeting God. Ek bar, zindagi mein ek bar at least let them come and meet the need meeting God in your presence, in your church service. Uske baad let him let them reject God but you have done your part in allowing them to meet the need meeting God.